Buongiorno. Today we are leaving Rome and we're headed to Naples. We're going to check out the ruins of Pompeii and we're going to eat pizza in Naples. Let's go. Here we are in the ruins of Pompeii. Behind me is an absolute beast of a volcano, Mount Vesuvius. And in 79 AD, this monster blew its top, throwing a tantrum of biblical proportions. It covered this entire settlement of Pompeii in ash and pumice. A tragedy for the community who lost 16,000 lives, but for archeologists, an absolutely invaluable glimpse into daily Roman life. So much was preserved under that ash, structures, um, horrifically people who were just caught in the, in the last throes of their life. Uh, it's an airy place but really fascinating. Whoa! Pompeii was by and large quite an affluent community. People weren't particularly shy about flaunting their wealth. There were large private villas, art adorning the walls, that type of thing. A lot of pressure to keep up with the Joneses. Right, love, what would you like from the bar? Dirty martini? This right here looks like some sort of ancient wood-fired stove. I wonder if they made Neapolitana-style pizza back then. The wealthy ancient Romans loved a vast garden. You gotta respect that. They sure liked a bit of colour back then. See all these beautiful faded colours are everywhere. Sadly, the footage you just saw was the real remains of people who lived in Pompeii. Their bodies were preserved in a cast made of plaster. Cypress trees are fitting. They point up to the sky to remember the dead. so many beautiful villas and mansions on this road here. It's like Millionaire's Row. Gee, I'd love to see the real housewives of Pompeii. We've had an amazing time at the Pompeii ruins. It's absolutely incredible. I highly advise you to take the whole day. There's so much to see. We're now heading back into Naples. And we're gonna get some Neapolitan style pizza. now. This is the gritty but proud harbour city. It's actually the third biggest city in Italy behind Rome and Milan. We've just come to a restaurant that was established in 1931. I've just ordered a margarita pizza because that's what you do when you come to Naples. Very excited. So we've ordered a bottle of local white wine. Guess the price. Four euros. Tomato, mozzarella, and a little bit of basil, the color of the Italian flag. Perfection.
I ordered the calabrese because I wanted something hearty and with some meat on it. Uh, so this is sausage, mushroom, uh, basil, mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce. Look, just look at this crust to start with, it's so crispy and aerated. Oh, that is so beautiful. Mmm. Right, let's just go. that is to die for. Okay, Logan, what is your final thoughts? Well, I scoffed the entire thing like a true Italian patriot. You know, they say you see Naples and die. Well, I might be dying a slow death via pizza. <laughs> but in terms of seeing Naples, well, we arrived pretty late and it was quite dark, so we haven't necessarily seen it in its full glory, so I think our lives are safe. Well, it's been an absolutely amazing adventure. And tomorrow we fly back to Nuova Zelanda. Thanks so much for following us. Please like and subscribe. Ciao. Ciao. Back it up like a Tonka truck.